So what skills do we need to play golf? Well, I think it's fair to say that the majority of people spend most of their time on the driving range working on their technical skills. It may be chipping, putting, long game. But the majority of the time is spent trying to develop a technical proficiency. Now, I just want to talk to you a little bit about the learning curve and what process we go through in everything that we do in our lives. You know, at the bottom here, we've got something which is called unconscious incompetence. At this point, you're not really even aware of the skills that you need to be able to perform the, uh, whatever exercise you're trying to carry out. When you become aware, you start to practice your skills. And you start to become what is known as conscious incompetent. You keep practicing, you keep practicing. As you move up the stages, you get to a place of conscious competence where you're starting to actually demonstrate some real skill. But you're still thinking about the actions required to carry it out. And finally, unconscious competence, where you start just doing, just like I was juggling earlier on. No thought, no mind, just doing. Now, the problem we have when we purely and simply work on our technical skills is this. Majority of the time, we spend cycling between conscious incompetence and conscious competence. What this means is that you're on the range and you're working hard on your technical skills, giving yourself more and more confidence that you're getting your swing in the place where you want it to be. When you go out into the golf course and you start to hit some golf balls poorly, what do you immediately do when the only world you know is technical? What happens is you start to focus your attention on your technique. What's actually happening is you're cycling again between conscious competence and conscious incompetence. You never give yourself a chance to get to this place where you're actually playing golf. Whilst your whole world is built around technical skills, you're constantly dragging yourself back down to this state of conscious incompetence. You go away and practice. You go and play bad golf. You bring yourself back down to here. And you're constantly cycling between these stages. You know, everything we do in our lives, we get to an intuitive state. If it's uh, juggling, golf, juggling balls, for instance, I went through this process where I was focusing on my actions, and then eventually I started to focus my attention elsewhere, and I was just able to juggle. If you play any musical instrument, you spend a lot of time through repetition, learning chords. You're focusing your attention on your actions. And whilst you're doing this, you're not actually playing music. You're trying to learn how to control your hands and the chords that you want to play. But eventually, your focus of attention switches away from controlling to playing music. Learning how to type. Initially, you're focused on where your fingers are on the keyboard. But through repetition, you focus your attention on the screen and you start to let yourself go. Now, every time you get to this intuitive state, as soon as you start to think about what key you're hitting or what chord you're playing, you drag yourself back down into this state of consciousness, and it stops your flow. You know, it's impossible to perform when you're conscious of your actions. So if I'm playing a piece of music, and all of a sudden I start to think, what chord was that? it stops. If I'm typing and I try and think where is a certain key, I stop. If you're playing golf and you're thinking about how to swing the golf club, you're playing in a conscious state. Now, as I've demonstrated, the only way we can get to this intuitive state is by switching our focus of attention away from what we're trying to do. Whilst we are focusing on our actions, we can never get to that place. So how, in golf, can we become intuitive? How can we become free? How can we focus our attention elsewhere?